This is the future. The future. Hi guys and welcome to the washing corner of my study. So you're probably wondering what are we going to do with this washing machine today. Well, although the washing machine does have a hot and a cold, I only have one tap as you can see going into the washing machine and it's a cold water. So we cannot do a proper wash this thing doesn't actually wash itself like like the modern machines and if you want to wash the machine decently or clean it inside decently you need to have warm water and which we don't have now my issue um, we are going to try and do a major cleaning or service of this and we also have to change the filter the water where I'm living is so dirty and so bad that I actually had to install a water filter before my washing machine. But what's happening now is most of my white clothing are getting these brown spots on them. And you can do whatever you want, the spot does not go out. Once it's there, it's there, then your shirt, your dress, whatever is stuffed. You can do nothing with that thing anymore except either dye it or throw it away. So to see if we can fix that problem or prevent it from happening in the future, we are going to take out all the filter. We are going to clean everything and see if we can actually take this drum out so that we can get on the other side of this and see if we can clean the other side. I'm wondering what this looks like on the other side, but we're going to try and clean that. And uh, to do that, it seems like we have to strip off this entire top case so that we can move the drum out. See how this is dirty? can't get this clean anymore so we're gonna attempt to get this looking like new so if you've never cleaned the washing machine like this before uh, and if you're curious to know what this machine looks like inside stick around and we'll show you otherwise thank you for watching the intro until next time cheers for the rest of you let's check it out so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Before we get to the video, here is a short disclaimer for you guys. Please take note. All repairs and reviews are done by myself for myself and on my own products and property. I fix problems as I find them and I do a first impression review on products that I buy. So if you have a question for me on a product or you have a complaint about a product, I apologize if I cannot give you a proper answer. Remember if a product is faulty, please take it back to where you've bought it and if there's any other problem that I have never encountered before, I will try and find the answer for you. Anyway, let's get to the video. Uh, okay, here's an example of what I mean. See this brown spot here? That's what the machine does, and you cannot get it out. Let me show you my vest. This was a new vest. I got all these marks from washing it in the washing machine. Not spilling anything on my clothes, nothing. This comes from the washing machine. So we want to prevent this from happening in future. I'm going to start off with removing all the filters, everything that I can clip off and make loose inside of my washing machine, we will start with that. Let me start cleaning inside what I can clean inside. And we see how far we get. I must say this doesn't look too bad. It's uh, not that dirty. I would have thought it would be like, uh, like, like that black stuff. It's there, all over the bottom, but it's not. Even on this side of the, of the, is the pulsator plate whatever you call it. It's not that bad. I assume if I take that nut off, this big one, I can take the drum out as long as I can take the outer casing off the machine. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, just a quick update. So there's some clips as you can see 
holding this panel in place. Once we remove this panel, there is two bolts, one there, uh, there, then uh, you loosen them, and then here at the back, uh, there, below is a bolt, and another one there, and once you do that, the whole top is loose. Now we can just move the top one side, and we can take the drum out. And uh, yeah, this was very brittle, so some of the clips broke, so I will uh, repair it with some glue and just glue this back into place once it's cleaned and uh, looking good again. Okay guys, so there was a ring lying on top of here that uh, bolts uh, there and three other places, but look, look at that grime. And ha ha, sis, in between the drum and that's what we need to get clean. Now, there's the, the ring, you see, it's no wonder the clothes aren't getting clean. Look at all that dirt and nastiness that comes out where the filter casing was. Okay guys, I just want to quickly show you something. I was struggling to find out which way to loosen this nut because I see on some Samsung devices the nut loosens this way, where you normally would tighten it. But I see on this one it is marked open and lock. Open and lock. Okay guys, I finally got the nut off. I had to take the adjustable spanner and a hammer. Okay guys, you're not going to believe this. I almost gave up on this machine. I'm telling you, I almost gave up. I was ready to admit defeat. I could not get this thing, this drum out. And then I started cleaning it with this degreaser. And I don't know if it's the degreaser or if it's the oil that I sprayed in a little bit earlier but as I'm cleaning it I, I noticed the drum is getting looser and looser and voila just picked it up and it just popped right off after hitting it with a four pound hammer screaming and shouting and swearing at the world it took a little bit of degreaser <laughs> to get the drum out I already cleaned half the drum inside already but now that it's out it's awesome. Now I can actually clean it properly and not be restricted to the area. Sorry for walking up and down. Yeah! Now we can clean this thing proper. Now doesn't this look so much better? You don't know how much nonis I took out of here, although I, I'm sure you know, you've seen what it looked like before and after. But yeah, that stuff really, really works very good. I wonder how it will do with oil. But anyway, so uh, unfortunately I can't get in this tube here. Um, I think all that nonsense is falling down into the bottom of the washing machine so I can just sweep it out later. Um, but the inside of this uh, drum is clean, or the outer hole of the drum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's some rust down there. Uh, that's from water, so there's nothing we can do about the rust. That's my drain port there. I'm just gonna wait for it to get totally dry. Then I will uh, pick up all these little pieces of nonsense that's still left because I don't want all of that to go out into the drain. Um, yeah, next up will be the actual drum, cleaning it inside and out. And then we can put the drum back in and so on. Okay guys, I'm almost done with all the cleaning. Doesn't this look so much better? And even the outside is now nice and chromy. So um, this is why they say check your filter at least once a month. Look at all this nonsense. Ew, man. This is disgusting. Huh? Throw this thing away. Okay. This is all the dirt and stuff that gets packed on. So remember, please clean your filter once a week if you can. Go to your machine right now, right now, and go and check your folder. This is probably also why your clothing stays dirty. Okay guys, I have to make a little bit of a repair job here. Yeah? Um, when I was trying to take the, the drum out, I took a hammer and I hit the freaking top of the spline instead of putting the bolt in and hitting the bolt. So now I damaged the tips of the splines. Luckily it's not the whole shaft, it's not the whole thing, just the tippy tip and because of that it prevents my, my my 
agitator from slipping back on. So obviously, as you guys know, if you can't get this fixed, this whole washing machine is a dud and I can throw this whole machine away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a file. I'm going to take this file. I'm just going to insert it into the grooves like that. You can see there. And I'm just going to file the tips clean and see if I can maybe get the, the tip sharp enough again to allow the splines to slip over. Once that's done, I can assemble the machine. The cleaning is done, everything is clean, uh, all the parts are clean, so uh, then we can start assembling the whole thing. As you guys can see, it's actually looking good. It's actually very nice and clean. So it's just now, just now the splines. Then I can put the thing back together, and then we can uh, test it. Okay guys, success! Tested it, it's working, I fixed the splines, if it will focus on the splines, I don't know, but yeah, it's working. I can get the pulsator back on. Okay, let's reassemble. Okay guys, sorry for the noise, there's people cutting grass outside, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. So let's start with the assembly. First, there's this lovely little, ah, do this one, there's this lovely little, uh, washer with an o-ring rubber side clean it goes in first over this square nut effect there we go next up is the drum our drum is in looking good don't you guys say so still on the light looking good nice and clean I don't think this thing has been looking like this for almost 20 years. That's how long this, or well, that's basically how old this machine is, I think. And I got it five years ago from someone else, so that's why this thing has never been cleaned properly. So next up is this wavy line washer. I think it's a lock washer. Just put it over there. And then we're going to put the nut up, and we're going to tighten down the nut. Okay, I made this nut as tight as I possibly can from this angle. I mean, I don't have a socket and all that nonsense. Only an adjustable spanner. Okay, I proceeded to put the agitator in first because I forgot about this ring. This ring has to go up over here. So before we tie this down, I have to put the ring back. So uh, I just have to quickly put the agitator back. As you guys see, it fits perfectly. I was able to fix the splines. And uh, this looks very good. So now I'm just gonna quickly Wash this ring, see all that in there, and put the ring back. Then we're gonna close up my panels and everything, and uh, I'll show you what we do from there. Okay, the ring is in. It tightens down with four screws. One, two, three, and four. There's my whole drummy in on its place. Now I'm going to um, mount. The, the top panel and the tire down and there we go guys fully completed assembled washing machine now because this thing is so old the clips were brittle so when I took this panel off most of the clips broke so as you can see it is loose but I did tie it down on the one screw that was there so as long as nobody goes and flips it up and down it should be fine and if you don't know it's loose you won't even know it I can I can probably take some glue or maybe mirror tape put it on this side and tie it down but um, before I do anything stupid like that I first want to make sure that um, uh, this thing is washing correctly and not falling apart if I have to open it up again then I don't want to you know take too long opening it up okay guys well there it is filter is changed and we have our clean machine awesomeness I like it now I'm just gonna start the machine up and I want to have it wash once through just with clean water just to flush out whatever else is here to flush out and to hear if the motor is working fine if I didn't damage anything at the bottom if the drum is coming loose all that kind of stuff before I put clothes and everything in so let me do one wash and then uh, we'll see what it does. Can you believe it? This filter was clean seconds ago 
and it's already getting brown. Welcome to South Africa, specifically Woodbank. This is what our water looks like. Okay, let's give it a chance to wash and then I'll get back to you just now. So far so good. Look at all the degrees here. It's working. No strange noises. No funny business. Air is out of the system. The floor is dry. And it's going to take about 44 minutes to go through the whole cycle, spinning and everything. So once that's done, I'll get back to you just now. Okay guys, as you can see there's still a little bit of dirt that came out now, but I think that's the ones that I cleaned out that was lying inside the filter area that was washed out now. But as you can see, it's still very nice and clean. It ran the whole cycle. And uh, yeah, no, no funny noises, no strange anything's working perfectly like it's supposed to so I will consider this another job well done so guys you know what to do if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel and to hit that bell icon if you want to get notified of any of my further uploads in any case whatever you do in the future remember to keep it safe and until next time cheers